Mikey. I promised I wouldn't be alone the entire show. Look who's here. Ronaldo Wynn, your debut on ACC Live. I'm ready. I'm ready. He and I tape the previews every week for every ACC game, but this time it's live. So no, uh, wait, wait, I need to start over. <laughs> the pressure's on. Pressure's That's right. On. Absolutely. Now he's a Notre Dame guy, but these days that is good enough for ACC Live. Time to take your stand on the important issues, storylines story in the ACC. Let's start with the Heisman. Taj Boyd or Jameis Winston? Who's your pick right now? I'm buying famous Jameis Winston in Florida State. He's doing an unbelievable job. 17 touchdowns, Jeff, and he has a 213 quarterback rating. So, correct me if I'm wrong, he kind of reminds me of a guy last year in Johnny Manziel for Texas A&M, a and and he's beaten his numbers this time from last year. Now, I know some others would say, well, what about Taj Boyd? He's been in some blowouts, so he hasn't been able to pile up those touchdown numbers, but uh, there's no doubt Jameis has been awesome. All right. So unless monkeys start flying from Oz, Jameis Winston, we know, will be the ACC Rookie of the Year. Who's the best ACC newcomer whose name doesn't rhyme with famous? I got to go with Tyler Boyd, the freshman again. Uni uh, University of Pittsburgh Panthers having an unbelievable year, second in the ACC, only to his teammate Devin Street. So this guy, I want to give you a few intangibles. Not only is he a great player, but his mom says he was first in walking eight months. He started walking, no training wheels, riding a bike. So this kid was destined for greatness. <laughs> That's some serious research right there. I love how the defensive guy went with an offensive player. So I'm going to pick a defensive guy for Rookie of the Year. I like Brandon Faison from Virginia Tech. Leads the ACC in interceptions. So good. Frank Beamer wants to use him on offense as well to as wide receiver, but they're both great picks. I give right. you that. All right. Speaking of the Hokies, it looks like Virginia Tech or Miami have the best shot at winning the Coastal, though Pitt has been very good as well. Ronaldo, who is your Coastal favorite? I got to go with the U, and the reason why is because they have great defense. When you have great defense, you can win champions, championships, and they have a great defense, and they remind me of the old defense of old back in the day, putting pressure on the quarterback, being disruptive, and they also have some great offensive weapons. Duke Johnson, Stephen Moore has been doing an awesome job, so I got to go with the U. There's no doubt the defense looks much improved this year as opposed to 2012. Now, for the first time ever, the ACC has three 5-0 teams, Clemson, Florida State, and the Hurricanes. So which one, in your opinion, is best positioned, has the right makeup to be a national title contender? Well, even though I like the U, you put in Florida State in there, and I can't leave out famous Jameis Winston at, as the general at quarterback. So I got to go with FSU. And they had a statement game when they beat Maryland 60-something to zero. Yeah. And I really believe their defense is really playing great ball just as well as their offense. Of course, we know Florida State Clemson coming up not too far away. The key there could be that Clemson's at home. It might give them a slight edge, but you still like the Knolls. I, I got to go with the Knolls. I got to go. And they play each other, so we'll see yeah, pretty soon. Right. October 19th. Yeah. Hey, there's your debut on ACC Live. Well done. How'd I do? Excellent. All right. Thank you. So let's look at those division races. I like to call them the Coast and the Atlantical. Start with the Coast. It's early, but Miami and Virginia Tech are the only two undefeated in conference play. They meet November 9th at Miami. Don't ignore Pitt, though. The Panthers' only loss is to Florida State, and there's no shame there. Let's get to the Glamour Division. Tigers and Knowles, both 3-0. Florida State has the bye this week. The biggest tests both teams face after next week the big SEC rivalry games on Thanksgiving weekend, Clemson at South Carolina, Florida State at Florida. I asked former Wake Forest great and former tag team partner Riley Skinner to break down the division races right now. Well, I think you got to take a step back and look at what game is going to decide the Atlantic division. That's Florida State at Clemson. They're playing at Clemson. And I think famous Jameis, you got to put him up against Taj Boyd. Who's got the experience? At the 8 o'clock game, you when know, game day will probably be there, I'm going to have to go with a better quarterback in Taj Boyd. He's been in this position before between LSU and the Georgia win right now. He's proven that he's ready for that limelight. This is a guy who is really leading one of the best offenses in the country. I'm going to have to say Clemson. you got a Miami team right now who I think is the best team in the coast. So they're tied with Virginia Tech in defensive statistics so far this year. They have made – Tremendous strides from 2012 to 2013 on defense. But you look at their offense. Their offense is leaps and bounds above Virginia Tech right now. And this is an offense that's averaging about 44, 45 points a game. Stephen Morris is slinging the ball around very well. Duke Johnson in the backfield. They they're just have much more diversity on offense. And that's why I think they're better than Virginia Tech in the long run. Virginia Tech's been holding on for dear life in a couple of these games. <laughs> 